Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there is an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to my zone online school. I am teacher Hartung. Our theme for this week is animals. Now boys and girls, before we start with any lessons today, we have to remember sanitize. Remember to put a generous amount of sanitizer on your hands and rub it in very carefully please wait for your hands to dry before you touch anything now let's see what we're going to learn about today today we will do coloring drawing and animals For today's lesson, boys and girls, we are going to talk about some animals. To start with, let's turn our booklets to page 3. Now here on page 3, we have a few pictures of animals. Now what do we need to do here? We need to color. Now boys and girls, Look at these pictures and see if you recognize these animals. Now on the board, I put two pictures down for you. So let's quickly have a look. Let's look at the first picture over here. Can you tell me what this picture is or what this animal is in the picture? That's right, everyone. It's a giraffe. Now, if you look closely to this picture of the giraffe, you will see that this giraffe is nice and colorful. Not like the picture in the booklet, because remember, you still have to go and color that picture. Now, let's quickly see. What colors will you put or will you color your giraffe? You will see in this picture you have nice and orange and yellow shades and some brown spots. So now you know what colors you can use to color the giraffe. Let's look at the second picture. Can you tell me what animal this is? Excellent boys and girls, you are so smart. This is a picture of an elephant. Now everyone, we all know the elephant to be a big and strong animal. But do we know what to color this elephant? As you can see on this picture, you can go ahead and color the elephant gray. Now everyone, I'm sure you will have lots and lots of fun coloring all your wild animals. But before we continue with our coloring, let's quickly turn our booklets to page 4. Now here on page 4, you will see a big blank space. 
Now, what we want you to do here is draw. What do you have to draw? You have to draw any wild animal and then you have to talk about its environment. You can talk about this animal with your teacher or parent. Now, boys and girls, you can go ahead and decide what animal you want to draw. You can maybe even choose your favorite animal. And once you have chosen the animal, you can then go ahead, draw the animal. And guess what, boys and girls? You can also color this animal. Now, when you are done, you need to go ahead and talk about the animal. Now, what is it that you have to talk about? You must talk about the animal's environment. Now, remember, boys and girls, if we talk about something's environment, it means their surroundings. So, we can talk about anything that surrounds this animal. You can talk about where the animal lives. You can talk about what they eat. You can talk about what they like to do. You can even go ahead and talk about maybe even what this animal looks like. Right, everyone? Now, I hope you will have a lot of fun talking about your animal or your favorite animal in this case after you have drawn and colored in your animal nicely. Right, everyone? Now, before we end off, let's quickly have a look at the last part of our lesson. For this part, let's turn our booklets to page 5. Now, here on page 5, you will see some pictures of animals once again. Now, boys and girls, I want us to go ahead and look at what animals will you find or can you find on page five? The first one is a picture of a cat. Then we have a picture of a monkey. And then the third picture is a picture of a dog. Then you have a picture of a snake a lion and a giraffe. Now, boys and girls, now that you know all the animals on page five, I want you to go ahead and circle all the domestic animals with a blue crayon and all the wild animals with a red crayon. Now, what is the difference between a domestic animal and a wild animal? A domestic animal is an animal that can live in your house. A wild animal is an animal that lives in the field outside. Now, you have to look at these pictures one more time and then you have to look at which animals can be kept inside our house and which animals must be left outside in the field. Now all the animals, domestic animals that are kept at home, you have to circle with a blue crayon. And all the wild animals that are left outside in the field, you have to circle with a red crayon. Right. Now, boys and girls, you have a lot of coloring, drawing and circling to do. And also learning about lots and lots of different animals. 
I hope you will have fun with these activities. We will be back after this short ad break. Do you have children in the age range of five to six years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 081 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over 10 different languages. We have come to the end of today's lesson. Thank you so much for joining us. But before we go, boys and girls, we have to remember to sanitize. Please make sure that you rub in your sanitizer everywhere around and between your fingers. Now, before we go home, Zoshi promised me that we could go to the park today. So let's all call Zoshi. Will you call Zoshi with me? Zoshi, where are you? Do you see Zoshi anywhere? Zoshi, oh, here he is. Hello, Zoshi. Thank you so much for joining us and for helping me say goodbye today. So, from Zoshi and I, goodbye. Our online school will help you along the way. Find us at www.zoshi.online and download the booklet. Follow us on Facebook to never miss a video. Subscribe to our Zoshi Telegram channel if you want to receive daily updates. Proudly sponsored by the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Namibian Community Trust, UNICEF, My Zone Online School, Amos Mir Cat Syllabus and Capricorn Foundation.